seven are held as a major junction points. So these are the seven chakras that everybody is normally talking about. They are in certain… located in certain parts of your body, you know something about this or… everybody knows something about it, okay. These are Mooladhara, Swadishthana, Manipuraka, Anahata, Vishuddhi, Agna, Sahasrata. Mooladhara means the foundation. This is uh, a center which is physically or physiologically it is located between your anal outlet and your genital organ. It's called the perineum medically, I think. Where's the doctor? Hmm? It's the perineum, right. So, this is Mooladhara. If your energies in, are dominant in your Mooladhara, Food and sleep will be the two major qualities of your life. They will be the most important factors in your life, food and sleep. If your energies are dominant in your swadhisthana, which is located just above your, gen above your genital organ, here you will be a pleasure seeker. Pleasure does not necessarily mean sex and things like that. You are somebody who wants to enjoy the world that's dominant in you. So a person who is a pleasure seeker, he lives little more intensely than a person who is living just for food and sleep, yes? So these are just different levels of intensities of life. As the intensity increases, your ability to experience different dimensions of life moves from one area of life to another. If your energies move into Manipuraka or if they are more dominant in Manipuraka, you are a doer in the world, you want to do things. Maybe you are a businessman, maybe you are a politician or something where a lot of doing is needed, you know, you are a doer. If energies move into anahata, this is the creative center, you become a creative person. Maybe you are an artist or at least you have tendencies, maybe you didn't make it in the Hollywood but, <laughs> you know, you are… you want to create more than simply eating and sleeping or seeking pleasure outside, you would like to do something. There is creativity in you. A person, let's say an artist, generally their lives may be considered a little freaky for other people but they experience life little more intensely than let's say a businessman, yes? It's a different level of intensity. If energy is moving to Vishuddhi, which is the pit of the throat, the wor word Vishuddhi, the word Anahata means unstruck. This is the unstruck sound. This is a meeting between the lower and the higher. All your survival instincts are in the lower three chakras. Self-preservation is in Manipuraka, Swadhisthana and Muladhara. The longing to break away from all this and go away beyond is in Vishuddhi, Agna and Sahasrara. Anahata is the meeting point. So Anahata, the symbolism is two triangles meeting. You've seen that the star of David, everything comes from Anahata. Okay, that is the symbol for Anahata. Two upward moving and downward moving triangles meeting because these are two different dimensions of life. One is catering to self-preservation, another is catering to the longing to go beyond. In your head and your heart, you have longings to go beyond, but in your body, you have longings to preserve. For more on Sadhguru, visit www.ishafoundation.org.